The handheld tool is compact, which allows you to install the insert in remote locations. First, cut the tubing end squarely using the PrimeLock tubing cutter. Verify that the tubing is within the 70 thousandths maximum squareness tolerance. Now that the tubing is properly cut, we can install the insert. First slide the insert into the mandrel. Verify that the insert has been properly placed onto the mandrel. As you can see, the installation indication lines are closest to the shoulder of the mandrel. Ensure the clamps are clean and void of contaminants. Insert the cut end of the tubing through the prime lock nut. Next, place the tubing assembly into the clamp. Slide in the tube onto the mandrel until it stops. Then clamp the tube into place. If the tubing slides, readjust the clamping mechanism to increase the tube clamping force. Simply rotate the handle clockwise to push the insert into the tube until it contacts the mandrel shoulder. Now rotate the handle in the counterclockwise direction until the mandrel is free from the tube assembly. Unclamp the tube assembly. Once the insert is pressed into the tube, there are a few easy steps to verify that the insert has been properly assembled into the tube. The insert has molded indication lines for gauging proper installation into the tube. For correct installation, the tubing will cover all or at least a portion of the indication lines. The insert does not need to be pressed fully into the tube. Slide the tubing assembly onto the fitting. Start by hand tightening the nut. Then use the custom prime lock wrench. Place the wrench over the ribs of the fitting nut. Rotate clockwise. Tighten the nut until the connection verification ring creates an audible click. You could also visually check that the nut has been properly tightened by verifying that there is no gap between the nut and the connection verification ring. The fitting assembly is now finished and ready for use in your fluid handling system.